Hey everyone, today I'm becoming my alter ego, High b 2 d In reviewing this only two axis machine, which I had no experience with before, um, this ACMR P1 laser engraver and cutter. Let's jump into it. So some time ago, ACMR reached out to me, and I think that's how you say it. It's A-C-M-E-R, ACMR, I don't know. Um, they reached out to me and said, hey, we saw your content on YouTube, you do 3D printing stuff, would you be interested in reviewing our laser engraver slash cutter? I replied and I said, I don't know jack squat about laser cutting. And they replied and said, that's perfect. We need someone to give an honest review as a beginner. And so as a beginner, this machine was really fun, but definitely uh, a, a learning curve. And we'll talk about why. So first and foremost, whenever I received the machine, it came in a big old box and was not assembled. As you can see, it takes up a pretty decent footprint. My desk isn't very big, but it's not something that I would be able to operate here on this desk. The assembly process, which I will put some video of here, some time lapses that I took. Hello everybody, this is my POV. We're gonna put this thing together and let's put it together. Let's put this thing together. It was not the easiest. I wouldn't say it was the hardest thing I put together. Like I've put together way more difficult Ikea furniture, but um, if you're not familiar with these types of machines, it it was definitely a, a challenge, but uh, not so bad that I, I don't think that, um, you know, if you can put together a Lego set, you can likely put this thing together. From unboxing and setting up to actually getting the laser working and starting my first cuts slash engravings, engravements, engravings, it only took me about an hour and a half, I'd say. So after a lot of not very exciting software setup from their manual, um, I think I'm about ready to go. And I feel like what better way to, what better first laser engraving to do than the high B 3D logo. Okay, so with that, we're gonna frame out our spot. And we are going to give it a go. Start. Oh my gosh. We finally have my very first laser cut. And here it is. Oh. Look at that. My very first laser engraving. Now, I knew that this machine was definitely a different beast than my 3D printers, as my 3D printers, I can just run them out in the open in my space. I've, you, you know, there's six of them behind the camera right now that I'm just, you know, running all the time. Um, but this is a little bit different that I can't just run it in, you know, my office with no like extra ventilation and no eye protection, stuff like that. These machines can seriously be dangerous if you don't know how to use them. I didn't know how to use them, so I consulted the almighty chat GPT for every question that I had. And uh, when it came to software, when it came to what settings to use for what materials, um, I went to chat GPT and they, it spit out information at me um, that I was then able to use to actually have some successful projects with this machine. My first project and something that I needed desperately was better displays for my 3D print booth. I go out and I sell 3D prints at market events and I really wanted some shelves. I'm like, hey, I have this machine now that I can make shelves out of. So I went to Lowe's and I bought eighth inch thick plywood, just sheets that are like two by two feet. And I started with that. Um, and with a little bit of trial and error, trying to figure out um, speeds and laser power, um, I was able to get these successful cuts and put them together and it turned out to be a really amazing addition to my booth that I'm able to tell people, hey, I made that for this booth. You know, not only did I make everything here, but I also made the stuff that's holding everything here. Another thing I didn't know about lasers in general and this laser specifically is that they don't have any sort of like self operating computer. So whenever you run the laser, you have to have your computer plugged into it to be able to run the G code. Not that I was annoyed by that. I just didn't know that that was the case. But in their instructions, Ackman lays out very well 
how to get your computer set up and what softwares are compatible with this machine and how to get started. Their instructions are very clear. Now, I'll be honest, I don't have a great frame of reference for lasers specifically. In fact, I don't have any frame of reference besides this machine now. Um, but what I do have is my frame of re reference to 3D printing. Um, and compared to 3D printing, it's about the same difficulty as running like an Ender 3 that you had to put together, like the old Ender 3 where there's no self-leveling, anything like that. Um, probably about that same level of tinkering in order to get the machine to work and the settings to function how you want them to. Now, I tested a variety of materials with this machine. I, I did wood, like I said, for my first project. I did a couple of wood engravings. I also did some metal engravings. I engraved my cash box that I use at events. I'm not gonna show it to you because I engraved my phone number on it in case I were to lose it, but also my logo. Do you know what? I'll tape over the number so I can show you. So you can see here, so that was done on this machine. Now, you can tell that this side has a lot more detail than this side because I, I went over this side a couple of times trying to dial my settings in right and it ended up kind of losing a lot of detail because I went over it so many times at different power levels. And I even engraved a build plate that I used for my A1 Mini, hopefully out of curiosity to see if it would be able to imprint my logo onto the print, like the 3D prints themselves. Um, it, it didn't, it didn't work. Wow, I'm sweaty. One thing that was immediately of concern and something that you should know if you're also a beginner, this machine is not safe to run indoors without ventilation or eye protection. And so because I have a bunch of people around all the time, um, I moved this into my garage. Here in my garage and I bought an enclosure for it so that people didn't have to wear the one pair of glasses that were sent to me in order to look at it and watch it engraving because you know you hear that there's a laser going, you're, you're gonna wanna look at it. And so I bought a $50 Creality enclosure that fits around it perfectly. And I'll link that in the description as well. Um, but after I had that set up, it was really a breeze to use. Um, it, it was it was really fun and enjoyable. And really to cut straight to the point, this is a $350 machine. And for what I was able to get out of it and all the ideas I have for projects in the future, that's really a pretty impressive value. It's a super sturdy machine. Um, it performs like the website says it does. Um, I haven't run into a project that I had an idea for that I haven't been able to cut yet. Now this is only a 10 watt laser, so it's not as strong as other lasers. You're not gonna be cutting through half inch plywood with this, but when it comes to decorative things, you know, eighth inch plywood, engraving wood, stuff like that, I, you're gonna have no problem with it. I will also mention that the support at Acmer has been very impressive. Um, anytime I had a question or um, or an issue that I I needed answered that ChatGPT wasn't very clear on, I went to them and they gave me a very prompt response. And so, um, honestly, I would recommend this machine as a beginner laser cutter. If you're interested in getting into laser cutting and you're looking for a beginner machine, I think this is a real solid contender. So, overall. That's kind of my two cents on the Acmer P1 machine, which of course when I hear the P1, it's like neuron activation and I think of the Bamboo Labs P1. Um, this is obviously not that and it's not as easy to use as a Bamboo Labs P1. Um, but for a beginner machine, I think it is really great. If you like tinkering with machines, if you are interested in laser cutting and laser engraving, I think this is a really solid consideration for your first machine. Thank you for joining. This has been High B 3D, or 2D in this case. Buzz, buzz.